So we're going to build a custom Worldment profile. So we start with a sketch. I'm going to go to the right plane and I'm going to just sketch out a rough outline for an eye beam. So just a rough sketch at the moment. I noticed when I was doing the trials for this video that mirroring the bare minimum features seem to cause some conflicts. So I'm doing this the slow way by modeling the entire profile just to be, just to make sure that SolidWorks doesn't error out later on. So let's just get everything aligned before we dimension it. So just creating relations to constrain the geometry. So symmetry where needed, or code linear lines where required. So we're going to make it 50 mil wide and 75 mil long. So two inches by three inches. Just fill in the last few dimensions just to fully constrain this sketch. Make sure anything that's construction stays construction. So we're almost fully constrained. And there we go. So everything has gone black, so we're fully constrained. So let's now take this new custom profile. What we're doing now is we're adding reference points for offsetting the geometry should we need to uh, move the profile around later on. This will become apparent when we um, when we add this this profile to a structure. So I'm just offsetting some reference points. So that was half of the length. You can see that we've built this sketch around the origin. So when this sketch is added to any kind of profile, it's always going to default to the origin before you move it around. So, okay, our profile sketch is uh, put together. So we select the sketch and then we go File, Save As. And we need to change the file type to library feature part and that's going to take us to a default location so this could be different this is my default location but um, you need to really look for the default location on your program on your SOLIDWORKS so I'm creating a folder so we've got ANSI we've got ISO which are there the, the standard profiles we're going to name a new add a new location so new profile then we need to have a second folder and I'm going to call this iBeam. We have to have these two levels because if we don't, our new part will not show up. So then now let's name the part 75 by 50. Very important that we added those two levels of folders. Okay, so now we've built our custom profile. Let's uh, add it to a WorldMint. So we go to new part and we're going to draw on the top plane and we're just going to put a very very simple path for our profile. So we're going to make it 500 by 250 
let's accept that. Go back to isometric view. Go to the Worldments tab, Structural Member, New Profile, which we added earlier. Type I beam, and size is 750 by or 75 by 50. New Group One. Select the two lines as appropriate. Start a new, another new group. Select a second set of lines. And there, yeah, let's offset by one mil. And there we have our profile interlinked. So we did add some custom geometry earlier, which we can now use to offset a second profile section. So we're going, we've gone into structural member a second time, selecting these each end. If we zero in, if we tap locate profile at the bottom of the screen, it shows us the profile for this group. If you click some of the reference geometry, we can realign the extrusion. And there we've got an offset profile referencing the same line as the section underneath. And that's how you build custom profiles and use them in a new model.